All right, we're recording. We are recording. And uh, just to let you know, too, that I have to go at 4.30 because someone's looking after the kids and they're leaving at, at 4.30. So we'll have to keep it fairly short. We are doing this thing and I have no arm, apparently. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How does one keep on task? I believe that was a question you posed to me. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I'm trying okay. to figure out productivity uh, with my personality. It's very kind of, I'm more in the creative uh, ca chaotic state at times too. And sometimes I'm really ambitious, but then I have a hard time like s staying focused on one thing or getting my things done. And now with everybody stuck at home and things like that, how do you how do you keep yourself focused on the things both that you have to do and the things that you actually like want to do that you're excited about doing? Mm. That's a good question. Uh, perhaps I'm a little bit unique because in this current state of affairs, I have tons of time. Um, I have no kids. I have no job. I wake up and I have no choice but to do something. And so I do the only thing that I know how to do. And that is think about the current situation, writing things in my head, shooting videos and editing other videos and putting them out there, knowing full well that it takes kind of a miracle for anything to really gain any traction, no matter who you are, unless you want to be completely outrageous. But that's a whole other subject for another time. Hmm. Uh, or maybe now, I don't know. But if you want to be completely outrageous on the internet, you will get some attention because that's what it's really truly all about is um, attention. How do you grab people's attention? So I, I put a lot of effort into figuring out what the hell's the first five things I'm going to say on any video and knowing full well that 99% of the time it's going to fail because people's attention spans are, you know, they're, they're not very long unless you grab them right away. Hmm. And unfortunately you might have to grab them with something that's offensive. <laughs> hmm. Offensive, controversial. Do you still do the, if you've got, if you know that 90% of the videos or 90% of the time, uh, it's not going to grab people's attention. Do you still do the videos? Do you still think they're valuable and, or even the process. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my my goal in in doing this regularly is that um, eventually something will grab people's attention, and they will backtrack. You can go to my channel. You can see videos from the past. Now mm -hmm. I also backtrack, and I'll go to some videos that I did say four months ago or two weeks ago, four days ago, and I'll reconsider and I'll turn it off. Hmm. And I'll say, yeah, it's maybe not the exact thing that I wanted to say at that moment. Hmm. Uh, or the moment's completely different. That's what's amazing happening right now is things happen so quickly um, that I reconsider and I have doubts about what I've said or, um, what I'm, what I'm trying to convey because the world is changing faster than, than I, I could have possibly imagined. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's pretty scary right now. Um, so I started thinking about, uh, well, I had that one question of like, how do you keep, keep productive or how do you maintain productivity and, and keeping, um, uh, your goals on in line stuff like that but now i have a a bigger question and i've got uh maybe like two minutes to do it with you okay but like what's your like i know the why of uh what people do can change from day to day month to month or year to year but yeah. like right now it seems like you're doing a lot um what what's the why and i don't know i know what we've talked a, a bunch but uh maybe not to the full extent and sorry that we only have a minute but what's what's your why right now what are you hoping that you can you can do 
um, right now that's that you feel like you want to contribute? And I know we're in right. such a unique situation right now. Hmm. Um, I feel as though I just have no choice but to try to communicate something to someone. Um, there's a lot of negativity, but there's also solution based thinking. Um, and this is that dilemma. I'm glad actually I brought up being offensive. That's that dilemma of communication right now is in order to grab people's attention, you got to be fucking crazy. You got to be spitting out of your fucking mouths and breathing like a goddamn dragon. But if your message is one of hope and love and giving and generosity, man, that's a hard thing to combine. Hmm. And uh, that is the underlying level of all of this is we do have to do anything we can to start moving away from this instantaneous gratification bullshit. There are a lot of fans of someone uh, like Joe Rogan, and you will see a wide spectrum of people that get interested in his show. And the reason why is because it's a long conversation hmm. and uh, we need more time for long conversations. And when I make a video, I feel pressured to try and get everything right and get everything short, but I also want it to be spontaneous. So I don't fully compose the video. I want it to be imperfect because that's kind of what the internet is all about is being imperfect and making it up as you go. Like this is a probably pretty good video because I haven't had time to think about it at all. <laughs> hmm. So why? I have no choice is the quick answer. And the long answer is probably the answer that um, we all want to get to is uh, more open communication. So hopefully I haven't used up all of our time in this. <laughs> well, it was, it was my bad for setting up with such a short time period, but it made me think um, maybe I would, maybe we should have conversations like this regularly more regularly maybe we should do this more often but instead of having whatever amount of time that we've been talking for right now just let it play and then Definitely. then i can actually see what's going what's going on what your thoughts are you know a conversation like we have on the telephone or on yeah. our cell phones just being like cool excellent and i love your setup by the way um it's super cool uh looks super professional, um, all kinds of, uh, you know, sort of flexibility in that space that you've got there. Hmm. Both, you know, talking, music, um, good job. Thank you. I could, I could use some help actually. It's getting a bit crowded. So maybe we can, maybe you could help me with that too. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I might have to physically get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that might be difficult. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you're doing a good job. Thanks, Stars. Not a problem, man. All right. Well, until until next time with a longer conversation. Yeah, I look forward to uh, watching the video. Is this going out live right now? <laughs> uh, no, it's, no, it's being it's recorded, a... but I can, uh, with your consent, I can totally throw it on YouTube. Yes. And then if you want to take parts of it and chop it up, Absolutely. Totally. Put it on the tube. Cool. I, might, right. I might have shaved if I knew in advance. Oh, sorry. Or not. Yeah, I'm growing a beard right now. So. <laughs> Everyone's growing a beard. <laughs> There's a lyric that will last. <laughs> Jeez, maybe it will. Because everyone will know it has something to do with coronavirus. Everyone's growing a beard. <laughs> All right. All right. Love you, Dars. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.